So this is still interpreting derivatives. So we're looking at question 291, where we have the function f of x equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 7. And we are asked to find the coordinates of any turning points and points of inflection for the function. So remember, turning point... is a max or a min which means first derivative is zero and inflection point is where the gradient changes so the second derivative is zero. So this is what we're looking for. So we need to differentiate the first and the second derivative. So first derivative so we've got three times two plus six x minus twelve. Okay, so we need to find when this equals zero. And so we plug this into our calculator and we get x equals 1 and negative 2. Okay. So finding the second derivative, we've got 12x plus 6. So f double dash of 1 is 12 times 1 plus 6, which is 18. So that's positive, which means it is happy face, minimum. And f double dash of negative 2, 12 times negative 2 plus 6 which is negative 18, so it's negative, which means it's a maximum. Okay, so we've got two of them, now we'll have to go back and find the y, but we're just going to look for any points of inflection, the second one. So we need to make f double dash of x equal to 0 which means 12x plus 6 equals 0. 12x equals negative 6. x equals negative 6 over 12, negative 0 0.5. So this is our point of inflection here. Okay. We have to go back to f of x. So we've got three points. x equals 1, negative 2, and negative 0 0.5. We're going to have to substitute all of these in. So we do the first one. f of 1 equals 2 times 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared minus 12 times 1 plus 7 which is 2 plus 3, 5 minus 12, negative 7, plus 7 is 0. So then we've got point 1, 0 is a minimum. Second point. So we've got <coughs> here negative 8, so that's negative 16, plus 12, write this down, plus 12, mm, plus 24, 
plus 7. Which is 27. So we've got our second point. Negative 2, 27 is a maximum. Alright. Now our last one. Two times negative zero point five cubed plus three times negative zero point five squared minus twelve times negative zero point five plus seven. So that gives thirteen point five. So our last point is negative zero point five thirteen point five is an inflection point.